TV for this blockbuster Friday night clash between Avondale FC and, of course, your Melbourne Knights. A battle of 1v4 and, of course, the co-tenants of this famous venue. Mark Van Aken with you in commentary. The Knights are in top form with three consecutive wins in the league and cup competition, building momentum for a tough set of upcoming fixtures, starting, of course, tonight with league leaders Avondale FC. Last Friday's 4-0 win over Port Melbourne would have been encouraging for Andrew Marth and his coaching staff as his side put in a dominant 90 minutes. There were plenty of positives all over the park for the Knights, earning their first clean sheet of the season, along with a first home win. In addition, goals continue to flow for Elvis Kemso, but Tom Cahill and Jason Hicks, while duo Marian Sviktovic and Milan Batov made the return to the senior action following lengthy injury delays. This week's opponents will arguably provide the toughest test with Avondale FC currently undefeated at the summit of the PS4 NPL table here in Victoria. Remarkably, last week's 2-1 win over North Geelong was the first time the team had scored more than one goal in a league game, a testament to the watertight defence led by goalkeeper Chris Oldfield. Despite the lack of goals, Avondale, pos Avondale rather, possess a formidable attack consisting of Shepard, Carly, Jamano and former gold medalist Kamal Ibrahim. Complementing the attack is the ever-reliable Massimo Madoka marshalling the midfield. Pasco Vale in third, the Melbourne Knights equal on 10 points with Heidelberg United in fifth with a superior goal difference. Kingston City rounding out the six on nine points. Kim City, Green Gully beyond. We're underway here at Summer Street. Anticipated, much anticipated, I should say. Friday night fixture. Hicks to take the corner for the Melbourne Knights. It's whipped in. It's a good one. Cool. Kaya was flying in. It was parried away by Oldfield. Kem Sober. It's wide. Jay Hill. A little ball through the middle. Hicks has got some space. First touch was heavy. Second touch goes straight to Chris Oldfield. It's 23 v 23 here. Harris, he's got some space. Takes a touch, another, drags it back in. Oldfield's off his line and just touches a little too heavy there for Kim Harris. Nervous few seconds there for Avondale. It's not over yet. Pulls a handball against Hicks. Germano. Desich has won the ball back here, done well. Hicks. Spreads it out for Brekolo. Long one through. Harris is there. Can save on the overlap. Wants to find Cahill. He does. He in turn sends it out wide to Dixon. He's got Purcell on his right. But goes himself. And I tell you what. It wasn't a bad question to ask of Chris Oldfield. Who's barking instructions at his defence in particular. The Melbourne Knights enjoying some good passages of play. Particularly in that final third. Shepard now to Kobenet. Madoka's got some space. Nods down for Germano. Germano, he will be one-on-one -on -one with Chalmers. Chalmers makes himself big, but not big enough. And after I just praised the Melbourne Knights for their work in the forward third, not necessarily right against the run of play, but certainly against, against rather, the run of possession. Avondale go forward. There's some good work there by Mass Madoka. And just like that, here in the 15th minute of the game, it's Avondale 1, Melbourne Knights 0. Beautiful run for Germano, which left Fraser Chalmers completely exposed. It might be done again, Germano. Little back heel in for Shepard. Shepard, good save there, but they're still in play here, Avondale. Surrey needs to get it out. Ooh, and just over the top there, Yitte Towns. And just when I thought Benny Surrey had averted disaster. Yitte Towns came across and nearly doubled the advantage for Avondale. And again, they're showing that they don't need a mountain of possession. Cahill in traffic. Across and Oldfield in the end had to just get a glove to it over the top. Not sure if it was going in or not, but it was causing enough worry for Oldfield that he was fully extended. Kim Sober goes sideways to Spitka uh, to, yes, to uh, help me out. Marian Spitkovic. You're right the first time, Mark. 
Now Cahill. Little step over, puts it in. And that one. A little bit too much on it there for Tom Cahill. It's actually going to be Dixon. And Dixon has done well. Forced a save from Oldfield. It took a bit of a bobble. Didn't have that much power behind it. And, well, I thought Dixon was merely there for window dressing. That's all. Puts Hicks under a little bit of pressure, but Hicks is equal to it. Or maybe not, though, with a misguided pass through the middle. Shepard goes down. and So, Jonathan Germano. Can he bag himself a brace? Germano, right into the back of the net. And I asked if he'd bag himself a brace. Well, that he can. Hit with perfection into the top right corner. And Fraser Chalmers in his first game back from suspension since round one. Madoka, it's a good corner. And Ibrahim, with his first touch of the game, forces a save from Chama. Chama's rather. Suri thought about going wide to Batsor, instead comes back inside. Does well, Breckel over the top, and then Tom Cahill just scuffs his shot. Or pulls his shot, rather. Breckel out. For Zadvorny. Nice little ball inside, and then she's a little bit going on behind the play there, and Frank Urich definitely off his seat, as is Andrew Marth, and you know, a referee, an assistant referee, couldn't see the contact there from Franich. And Sadvorny just puts a little cheapy in there on Ibrahim, and Ibrahim's grabbed him around the neck, and it's, sorry, mate, that really, without editorialising too much, should be a red. I wonder if it's going to be a card at all, but he's just grabbed Robbie Zadvorny, Flush around the neck there. And it's actually Zed Vorney that's been called out by the ref. And I suspect the referee's just going to let this go with the talking to, but had he have caught the whole incident properly, although they do seem, well, I was about to say, happy enough just to shake hands there. Cam Sober. He lost the ball, but did well again. And his ball through. It was chopped. Just rides the bumps well, as always. Although, again, it's conceded to Czeski. Shimano. Shimano again here. Two nice little passes there for Avondale. Madoka out to Czeski again. Now Ibrahim. Cuts back onto his right, curls it around, and it's in the back of the net. And, geez, that just had a feel about it. The alarm bells just started ringing in Knights HQ. And Kamal Ibrahim, well, he took his time, and the Knights defence let him have it. He needed to a little bit me, little, be a little bit more aware. He wanted to get onto his right. It's a wicked right, as we all know. And in the 87th minute, the misery continues for the Melbourne Knights. We're now over the five minutes of stoppage time. Whistle can't be too far away. Can say wanted to turn on the dime. And that's the way it will finish up. So goals on either side of half time from Jonathan Germano. And then an 87th minute goal from Kamal Ibrahim was enough for Evandale to take home what ended up a pretty convincing three goals to nil win. We're back, of course, home for a real home game against Heidelberg United next Friday night. On behalf of Mark Van Aken and the entire Knights TV media team, we'll see you then, and we wish you good night. Back here with Andrew Marth. Now, Stabber, last week we were all happy families, happy stories, but not so much tonight. Nah, disappointing, eh? Um, I thought we uh, did quite well first half and went out in the second half of the well for the first 15, 20 minutes and, uh, you know, a great free kick. Um, possibly Fraser might have got there, I don't know. But um, went up 2-0 and, uh, you know, game was over virtually. 
Yeah, you're right. The first, you almost felt that goal was against the run of play for Avondale, for Germano. And do you feel that the team maybe went into its shell? Because definitely dominant for the first 15. Pretty good for the first half, as you touched on. But even for after that first 15, maybe that goal just stunned them, the, the boys, and they just went back in their shells a touch? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think physicality took over in the end too, eh? Um, I thought we were physically weak. And I thought, uh, as you know, Avondale have got a, a super experienced team. And uh, I think it showed in the end. Certainly, defend- well, in fact, all over the park, and guys that have played together, in, even at different clubs for a long time as well. Um, in terms of that last goal with uh, Ibrahim, we all know he's uh, talent and class. He disappointed the boys, didn't really shut him down. He seemed to have an eternity to get himself onto that right foot. Yeah, yeah obviously, shouldn't get to that stage because we um, probably missed three challenges on the halfway line, and uh, no one committed themselves to win a ball or, or make a foul, and that was disappointing more so than, than the goal for me, um, which is, you know, that's what you got to do. Uh, make smart challenges, so to speak, and uh, you know we're looking forward to uh, next week against you, uh, sorry, Heidelberg, and uh, you know, that's going to be a huge, huge encounter for us. Is it disappointing in terms of again because last week was so positive? Just I know it's a, still quite a young team, but just getting that consistency in week in week out. Oh, for sure. You know, a prime example today. You look at Elvis. Elvis has been on fire for the first six weeks, and uh, you know Elvis probably went missing today, and. Uh, um, not just not just him. Don't get me wrong. There was probably about seven of them that, that followed him, and uh, but you know that's disappointing. Was there anything? I know you've switched him and uh, Danny Dixon. Well, I thought Danny Dixon was uh, pretty lively for a lot of the game tonight. But you're right, Elvis, who I've been I've been in love with in commentary for the first uh, six weeks of the season. But yeah, he's uh, just had a poor one tonight. You just put that down to you know that he's, you can't basically be on every single week. Yeah, he's a young kid, eh? So uh, you know, got to give credit to Heidel- uh, Heidelberg, Avondale to a certain degree. Um, you know, they closed him down and, and uh, they did quite well. But uh, young boy, he's inexperienced. He'll learn from it. And I'm sure he'll be better in, uh, next week. It's funny the game went because, as you mentioned, half time I said it was probably unlucky. Well, the Knights were unlucky to be down 1 0. It's probably the feeling inside the dressing room, no doubt. But now, after the full 90, you look back at 3 0 and you say it's a probably a pretty fair result. In, in the end, yeah, for sure. You know, we had a couple of opportunities also and uh, we didn't uh, consolidate. But uh, experience uh, tells in the end. And it's always been the case. We're anywhere around the world, and uh, they've got a super experienced team, and that's why they're on, on top. Yeah, we spoke last week about the conundrum with Fraser coming back, but I believe he's in the team tonight. Uh, he, you might have picked him anyway, but I believe Harry's picked up a knock. No, I actually didn't pick Fraser. Um, Harry got a knock on, on Wednesday and uh, hurt his hand again, so we had no uh, no option to put Fraser in, and uh, yeah, Fraser was um, did okay. Yeah, maybe a few cobwebs there, but... Uh as you said, those uh, two free kicks were top draw. So uh, anyway, back to the drawing board. Heidelberg next Friday night, back at home. And a real, we get to wear the red at home next week. Yeah, we're on the home bench, so uh, maybe you might, uh, our fortunes might turn around. Actually, silly question, mate. I was weird looking down and seeing you in the uh, the opposite technical area down there. Did it feel a little bit weird being five yards further away from where you're supposed to be? Actually, it's probably a bit of a uh, viewpoint, so we might go there next week. Oh, better not, because we lost today, so we'll go back home. <laughs> stick with what, uh, what works. Thanks, Dabba. No, it's true.